a husband and father weeps. <laughs> and a young man sobs over coffins holding the bodies of two little boys. <laughs> Mohammed and Motez, aged five and three, and their mother Ibtisam killed early Thursday morning. Crushed while they were sleeping, neighbors say, when an airstrike demolished their house. Government officials brought us to the town of Zliten to see the funeral. With two little boys and their mother killed this morning, what does this say about the United Nations Security Council resolution, which is calling on NATO to protect civilian lives in Libya? NATO spokesmen say at 6.30 a.m. local time on Thursday, warplanes bombed a suspected command and control facility in Zliten. A NATO spokesman told CNN, quote, we have no reason to believe there were any civilian casualties, but we take these reports very seriously and we're looking into the matter. For weeks, Zliten has been the target of an intense NATO bombing campaign. Muammar Gaddafi's government accuses NATO of hitting warehouses, health clinics and schools. We're on the compound of a law school that was hit a couple of days ago, again by airstrikes. But there is compelling evidence that this has been a location for some military. These appear to be uniforms over here, these olive green pants. And then we've got boxes here that look an awful lot like they could have been holding ammunition. Rockets rumble in the distance. Rebels and regime loyalists fight an artillery duel just a few miles away. Despite rebel and NATO demands that Gaddafi step down, he is clinging to power and threatening a war of attrition. From the very beginning, we decided that this war is very, very long. For us, this war, this honorable confrontation could go on for years. As always in war, civilians pay the highest price. This is our country and we're staying, says this grieving relative. Screw NATO and the rebels, and to hell with those who gave the coordinates for the attack. A round of bullets, fired in grief and rage. <laughs> by a young man who says he'll now give his last drop of blood to defend Muammar Gaddafi. <laughs> Ivan Watson, CNN, Zliten, Libya.